In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. See, this is a Dutch Navy rub to kind of give me the service like this, okay? Oh, jeez, hi. Boy, it's really a hairy day. I got a load of laundry, and I just got done giving the robots a bath, and I'm about to put them ah, down. No. Then I got to clean up the load pan bay. Uh, Servo messed it up. No, no, it was both of us. We were having sword fights. Yeah. <laughs> then fuck it. Oh, stop it. You guys just got to take it easy. Would you take it easy? Stupid. You're just overtired. I'm not doing right. right. it. I don't want to hear another peep out of you two, all right? Commercial sign in five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. Nice. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? Ah, you're another one. I know you are, but what am I? You're dumb. Baby, listen, baby. You're, listen, you're, you guys better stop it or I'm going to give you both a time out, okay? Uh, How's Joel, that make you feel? Joel, you, you said we could stay up for the movie. Yeah, that's what we're designed for. Yeah. Listen, okay, if you're really, really good, you can stay up for the movie, okay? Okay, we'll be really good. Yeah, we promise. Okay, now look nah. sharp, the mad scientists are calling, all right? Mm hmm Great. Okay. Uh, now, do you have that, that prism lens effect, that fly eye thing we talked about? Uh, you know, like at the beginning, beginning of family affair, that, that kind of thing. We'll do that here, all right? Well, Joel, we're just tidying up down here a bit. Uh, let's get right to the invention exchange this week. What do you say? Have at it. We're gonna watch the movie. We're gonna watch hey, the movie. Hey, come on, cut it out, you guys. Hey, hey. I want you to go turn off the lights, you spinach chins. I want to show them Gretchen the slinky, okay? That's better. Well, I, some exciting things have been going on here in the satellite of love. I realized that if you gave the right chemical bath to a slinky and then exposed it to some ultraviolet light, some interesting things would happen. I want to show you Gretchen the slinky. Hey, Gretchen, wake up. Come on. Yeah, there you go. See? She's doing really good. Yeah, that's right. She likes to be around people. Come on. Hey, come on. You want something to eat here? I got some, I got some uh, carpet for you. You like carpet, don't you? You don't like, oh, come on, have some carpet. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, she loves carpet. You want some more? Come on, there's some more there. Finish it up. Okay, now let's show them what slinkies do when they sleep, okay? I'm gonna put you, show you how they how you sleep, okay? Just hang you up right this. See, they, they rock themselves like that, okay? All right, and do one last thing for them, Gretchen, okay? All right, I want you to do one last thing. I want you to do your impression of the 60s, okay? On the count of three, all right? One, two, three. Do your impression of the 60s. That's good, all right, cool. That is adorable. I wish I had one of those. Uh, must be kind of hard to take care of, I bet. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid once, I had this slinky, I put it on the escalator. Frank! <laughs> oh, here comes Dr. Forrester now with his invention. <laughs> Well, Joel, this invention is based on the old slinky train toy I had as a kid. It allows me to be in two places at once, connected by the special bio-tube. Well, it's, it's much too complicated. It would take a scientist to explain it, and I'm simply too mad. Well, what do you think, Joel? Hey, you guys are always stealing my ideas. We're monitoring your mind, Joel. Besides, in space, 
No one can hear you sue. <laughs> Tell them, Frank. <laughs> That's right, we're evil. Evil! Those are just the most delightful little cute creatures. I want one like that. I want a little critter just like that. I'm gonna go to the Hasbro Humane Society. Frank! Huh? Your movie this week, Joel, is not a science fiction film, but it's perfect for our experiments. It's just bad. Tell him, Frank. That's right. It's a diabolical cinematic. It's just bad. Yes. Remember that bad thing we saw? This is even it's, worse than that. It's that's bad. That's right. It's bad. But it's our kind of bad. It's, it's a, a good bad. It's bad. It's good for us. Yeah. Bad for you, Joel. Oh, Man, those scientists are always trying to rip me off. Yeah, cheaters. Ah, uh, this this is gonna be hard to watch. Postage Stamp Theater presents. Hey, they shot this with a three millimeter camera. <laughs> I'd like to shoot them with a three millimeter howitzer. Bigger. It's got to be bigger. Is that what happens when a guy spits out of the side of his mouth? I think it's computer freaks and sides have a lot of parts. <laughs> oh, great. I love orange soda. I liked it when they used to shoot movies in Orange Julius. School. Well, they can't be that good. Look, they need training wheels. Hey, the scientists must be showing us ESPN. Maybe they'll show kickboxing from the Philippines. Tonight's episode, Bicycle Built for Death. Baby, can you drive my murder? These boots were made for arson. Two-wheeler, four-wheeler, dead wheeler. Easy rider, easy dead. Tonight, act one with very special guest, Ross Hagen. And J.C. Hoppenpopper, Travis and Toosler. <laughs> Filmed in long torso vision. Hey, Dean Tessier Judge. Hey, the whole Tessier clan got in on this. Yep. You know, now that side hacking is so big, it's really interesting to see its humble origin. Based on the award-winning stage play by Lillian Hellman. <laughs> Director of Blurriness, John Hall, and Carol Oates. <laughs> hey, check the map, will ya? Why me? Why me all the time? Hmm. Pat Somerset, Mom. That's what Noel Coward used to do. <laughs> and the Mike Curb Congregation. Hey. And the rest. Art Director Lee Foster. Assistant cameraman Vince Dyslexic. Assistant script supervisor Eddie Glaucoma. Music editor, uh, can't read it. Hey, let me up there. That's no way to kill hemorrhoids. <laughs> My dog used to do that on the driveway. He was in Porgy and Bass. No one's legs were ground off in the making of this film. I lost my contact. Help me. Help, I'm side hacking and I can't get up. I'm having butt pains. Well, we'll be right there, Mr. Stumpy. Is that John Hall again? She's out. So that's how Ross Hagen got in the film. He slept with the producer. <laughs> hey, it's Hunter S. Thompson. I didn't know side hacking was so gonzo. Yeah. The winner's circle for burning tires. 
Uh, used to be a renaissance festival as far as the eye can see. Undercooked pork by Gus Trichinosis. Come on, let's go. Meanwhile, in another movie... Hey, they're film filming a Kotex at... I'm a... <laughs> I can't say Kotex, I'm a robot. <laughs> Let's check in and see what the Gatsby's are doing. Last one to the montage is a rotten egg, huh? Let's walk ankle deep in filth. So, what's so bad about feeling good? Hey, woman. Haircut by Chad Everett. No. No. <laughs> you little tigress. <laughs> they look like they're filming a Star Trek episode. Help me, Kirk. Help me. I am Kirok. Oh, life is good, isn't it? Our love is hey, clean love. After we're married, I still want this. What, this tree? What do you mean? And I'll be in out here where no one can bug us. Oh, yeah. I love that idea, too. Yeah. Hey, uh, we think I like going. We both share a brain. Uh-huh. Hey, come on. I'm going to break your shin, you little tigress. <laughs> Hey, Joel, where do you suppose these guys are working now that cigarette ads are illegal? I don't know. Maybe they're uh, working on PM Magazine. I don't know. Drama? Get Remember when we were making right a now. film called Side Hackers? Let's see. Uh, you forgot your socks? No, silly, my underwear. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you blew your nose. <laughs> no, come on. OK, what is it? Uh, David McCallum's coming over for dinner. Yep. I'm thinking that you're the most beautiful man in the whole world. I'm Come thinking on. you're Man, right. Beautiful. Well, you are. Yeah. I can see why, honey. You got good taste. taste good too, but your lips are drug. <laughs> hey, I'm tripping. No, I'm really tripping. Ouch, ouch, there's a protector oh, in my pocket. Mr. Point in the sun, and then we got the blue in the pot. I'm sorry about my hand, Lady. Lady, oh, 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 oh come on, Mrs. Jerry. Oh, now, cut that out, Jerry, and get sorry, off Sorry me. about the, the, the pots and the keys. Ouch. It's, it's me on the McGraw. Best roll of my hair I ever had. <laughs> oh, 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 Lady, oh, you are, oh. Even this grass is, is, it's drunk! Had enough to eat? Yeah, I grazed enough, thank <sighs> you. Uh, I guess we should talk now. But not of you. Huh. Hmm. Now do that tiger noise again. Growl. Uh, love is yeah, good. Love sure is good. Mmm, grub, think love you. good. Wanna guess what it is? Uh, Nintendo? Bunny? All I do is guess Fuel injection? Okay, let's see. Uh, a new car. Next one. No. Mm. You got two more guesses. Pass. Mm. Uh, sweater, Pass. pants, shirt, socks, Come underwear. Come on, that's more than mm -mm, two. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, what is it? It's a lock. Oh. What? Hmm? You heard me. A lock. A lock, you know, little fish. You eat them on bagels. Now, what am I going to do with that? what I'm going to do with it. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> I see. What's that? I want you to wear it, okay? In your supper. Okay. <laughs> hey, Lou. So she gave me this lock like an engagement ring. See? So you had a good time yesterday, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that you and Lois couldn't make it. Hey, why don't you shut off that motorcycle so we can talk? You and Rita should have some time to yourself. So see what I mean when the kids start coming? Yeah, it's funny. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah. You sound like me when I was about to take the big step. Yeah, what do you mean? Asking yourself a hundred and one questions. Can you open the garage door? Well, it's a big move Remember in a man's life. used to be smart? When you finally do it, it won't seem so big. Yeah, maybe. You ever see me look so happy? Yeah, huh? but you didn't know I was well, watching you. Uh, I've never seen you looking so fat. Fat? Look. Yeah, I gotta start watching that. <laughs> well, family life's too easy. Makes a man soft. 
<laughs> you know what you gotta do, Luke? Get out more, exercise. Exercise? Yeah. Well, I may be soft, but I'm still... Stupid. Fast! Whoa! Hello! Hello! Time for the main event. What can we do for you? Hey, it's I got Dick a Sean. bike. Need some repairing. Uh, if you're not uh, in a big hurry. Hey, boss, that's airplane. We got a couple ahead of you. Well, I got an exhibition in Frisco in two and weeks. Then you won't be needing those clothes. You think you can have it ready by then? Let's have a look. Outside in the truck. Why are you coming on to me? Hmm. So, this must be what they call a garage. Cookie. It's mm. a nice job you've got here. Well, uh, thanks. The way J.C. rides, he could keep you in steady business. Oh? What do you mean? Exhibition riding, fairs, rodeos. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, you, you know. You can make a bike do anything. Yeah. In fact, I'm a bike. I didn't get your name. Rommel. Oh, hey, you magnificent son of a bitch. Yeah, I read your book. Nope. You got a cigarette? Got a dopey hat? Nope. <laughs> you think sure that's don't funny? have much to say, do you? Nope. Nope. You trying to say something? Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Hey, Lee. Yes. Looks like Bud Freeman. I hope he doesn't try to hug everybody. What's with the uh, training wheels? <laughs> it's called a side hat. We built a whole movie around it. We had to pad out that thing. first scene with the meadow, though. What's it for? We use it for racing. You have a pilot and a passenger. It's up to the passenger to balance out the bike on corners. Teamwork. I see. The guy rides hanging onto this bar here. Oh! What are you riding? Well, uh, we're having some trials this weekend. Hey, this whole movie is a trial, all right? <laughs> Side hack, huh? I like it. We can have it ready for you by the middle of next week. Middle of the week, huh? You told me two weeks, Nero. What are you, an idiot or something? Hey. Oh, you want to give me some time ah! to think about that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, uh, no. We'll see you next weekend. This side hack thing, I will see. I will see it! Me too. Me three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, weird little guy, wasn't he? Maybe you'll let me call him little buddy. You invite him out? Yep. Sure, I swing. Both ways? I thought you left that all behind when you bought the shot. Oh, uh, Luke, sometimes you talk like an old man. Left all what behind? Trouble. Right here in now, River City. what do you City. mean by that? Well, capital Chick. T rounds the C, stands for Chick. So what? So that's no situation to get yourself into. He's bad news. And that's his old lady. They're all nuts. They the spend half in the their mirror time bowling fairs and rodeos, and another half blowing their minds. Oh, oh, now, wow. wait a minute. Wait a minute. The little lady comes in here and starts throwing her butt around. Now, what am I supposed to do? Run in a corner and hide or something? Get out and of the way of the you weren't looking at it. All right, forget I said anything. All right, I will. They come in here and they want to give us some business, right? Fine, but she's going to want some business, too. Okay, but it's not too bad, is it? So-so. That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Third, Third base. So-so. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. You may be married, Luke, but your eyes aren't. Guess who? Uh, yeah. are you known for your work Hi. in the theater? All right. Hey, oh, right. Oh, oh, nice today. Honey, do you have some money? The kids need new shoes. Oh, man, if it's not Shall one thing, it's home? another around here. They Next, you'll be throwing money at food and clothing. Oh, we got ten bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Pick me up a dime bag of those okay. <laughs> shoes. Yes, <bye>. Colombian shoes. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <sighs> Kiss by lunch every day. Well, it was a tongue sandwich. You got it made, Luke. It's okay, your turn's coming. Huh? Yeah, you want a cookie? Hmm? Hey, that's my lunch. Interesting. Very interesting. But stupid. Uh, <laughs> how much racing have you done? Not a little. That's what I like about you. Just give them enough to make them wonder. 
That's right. Hey, JC, uh, where's your next move after first call? Who knows? East, maybe. Thanks for littering. Dad would have paid. Welcome to the California Hack Race competition. A new and exciting sport filled with thrills and spills such as you've never seen before. And you the won't see now. now and we're about My, come start. on, hurry up. The film is slow enough. On hack number 14, pilot Stan Shara. Shara, that is. And passenger Dennis Woolley. And on number five, Steve Camp and his passenger, Jerry Mahoney. Jerry how does she make herself Riding look like number 15, Music. our pilot Woody Splinter, and passenger Vince Rump. Who is, I might add, no newcomer to this thrilling new sport. No newcomer to this new sport? Next Isn't that an oxymoron? That's Doug Bingham. Known as Der Bingo. Hey, on Jim Hutton. A couple of very good hackers. Wayne Kestemont and Pat Bingham. Shin bones are muffled. Number 31. We have Jim Moffat and Whitey Hope. Under power. Dolly Fox. Mighty Ford. Sandy Koufax. And on hack number seven, Crash Roach and his passenger, Jim McNeil. Will be great. Lefty now, Lemon. Ninja Nori. Jolly Yolly Orange. Loud Mouth Lunch. Choo Choo Cherry. Go, go, go. All I'm sissy. And they have no lives! <laughs> Hold me. Please hold me, D. Oh, come on, Jerry. Hey, that announcer is way too excited for his own good. For ours. Pace yourself. Oh, ham. And the perma crowd is in position. It makes the jump safe. I should say, fairly safe. And here they come for the first jump. Any faster than the old gear. Second lap, Chris Hartley, 15. Look at that, he's going in there. Jane, stop this crazy thing. I'm going to throw up. Uh oh, look out. 5 and 60. Indy, throw me the whip. Throw me the idol. The whip. The idol. All right, something else is happening now. Remember that other thing I told you about? It's happening again. Oh no, now something, some kind of stuff that's different, kind of different, but it's the same kind of similar stuff happening in a way. But look at that, some more stuff's happening involving motorcycles and a whole lot of dust. This one is so new, we don't even have the terminology yet. Oh. Around the clubhouse turn, there's apartment house with plenty of room. Girdle holds on in the stretch, and pulling up the rear is Beetle Bomb. I like my man best. Mine's better. There's the team from Foot Locker. <laughs> Just leave! Come on, get back in the frame. You over there, back in the frame. Come on, get in here, get in here. Good one, Cambot. Nice effect. Whoa! For you folks at home, this might be a good time to go get a sandwich. Hey! You should have gone before we left. Achievements, please! Well, we better get out of here. Thank Bob Crane for being the flag man there. We got a really neat treat for you guys. We worked on some heavy charts about side hacking. Cambot, I want you to run that race footage in there on the uh, chroma key. Okay, you guys, vamp. Yeah, I'm trapped up in outer space. Sometimes my life feels like a big pile of nothing. So what? 
Word, I live with it, dig it. But anyway, we in my bloods would like to wail out a song about our friends, the side hackers. It goes like this. Side hacking is the thing to do when it doesn't hurt to have a low IQ. Take your life, your life, and a little love. Big grand prize is 25 bucks. Side hack will quench your danger thirst. The stupid ones always seem to come in first. Yeah. Side hacking is one big bash, the favorite sport of cheap white trash. When you're on your side hack, make sure you don't slip. You'll end up with five metal pins in your hip. Lean way back till you scrape your butt. Make it look like a quarter pound of ground chuck. Yeah, oh, side hacking crow. Some sport that attracts a lot of racing fools. A lot of people get hurt because there are no rules. All you need is a toxic landfill, a cycle and a sidecar and a urge to kill. Better get with the sport because it won't last long. The founders of the sport are laid at forest lawn. them on that corner, I guess that'll bend them out of shape for a while. See, I like this side hack bit. You join me on the circuit, I got some idea how to put this into my act. But you, you gotta build the drama, see? That's what you gotta do, you gotta make it look harder. All right, I'll wear a porcupine costume. Hey, you wanna try it? You're on. <laughs> Well, it was about this time the old Duke boys decided to show old Boss Hog what side hacking was all about. So you hurl them on the ground and do si do and make them sing like a soprano. Side hack. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you fall off the bike flat on your ass and you fill your butt full of prairie grass. You stick your can up in the air and show us your can like you don't care. Side hack, everybody. Swing your side there. Let's go, Batman. <laughs> well, you grab JC and you swing him around, you put him on the side hack, throw him down. Side hack, come on now. Let's hear it for Mr. Humility there. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like a great place to side hack, doesn't it? This is where cows side hack it. Thanks, folks. I'll be here all week. Tip the waitress. Enjoy the buffet. More the same. Mm. And this is my country estate. I also keep a trailer home in the city. <laughs> <laughs> we really are having some fun, aren't we? It's time for some international coffee. What a trip! Orange cappuccino? Hey, did you hire an after dinner speaker? Uh, groovy place. Now, how'd you get it? Bad uh, looking, I bought it. We're gonna live here after we're married. A little love day. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. It well, let's really not patronize is. them or anything. Isn't it a beautiful place, honey? Yeah, it is. She's so articulate. You're mm. joining the establishment. And the establishment is the plastic, civil. man. Yep. Come on, Rommel, why don't you and the old lady ride with us, huh? Oh, we can make a lot of money yeah. on the circuit. Hey, let me get you up here. Huh? Take those uh, here. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're drinking so motor oil. Oh, you should never drink 10 W30 in the no summer. No alone when they're with JC. Hey, JC, I need to ask you something. What are you bugging me for? Whoa. Say. JC, to me, no harm. Switch to decaf. Take hands off me. Oh, Shut real. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. me like that. Whew. 
Well, uh, he really sucked the air out of that room, didn't he? Well, bean dip anyone? <laughs> Let's kiss. Come By hurting on, others, our love grows stronger. <laughs> that was say? fun. Just doesn't want to, JC. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. What do you mean, doesn't want to? Let's see. Does not want to. Which word didn't you understand? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Cookie face. I'm not going to beg you, man. It's your choice. Yeah, it is my choice, and I don't want to. Sorry. Bye now. Apple today. Come on. Let's go. Hey, what happened to any seven layer salad? Would you get out of here? Well, thanks for coming. Now stay out. Jeez, what does Martha Stewart say about times like this? Wait, that's for the drug test. No. Oh, darn. Uh, really didn't go too good, did it? Hmm. Is there any intelligence in that head of yours? Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. It's you asked me that once before. I know. Whoopi. Goldberg. <laughs> One minute accomplishment in a day is dealing with idiots. Now, if you can answer me this one. Uh-huh. Riddle me this. Simple question. Yeah. School will be out for the day. Mm, is this going to be on the final? Attention. If you came with me, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't Rommel come with me? Because uh, uh, he's not your girlfriend? Hey, baby. You were my meal ticket out of that town. What's with this meal Chicago? ticket bit? I saved you from a life of nothing. I bet you'd like to believe that. I, I don't know what I saw in you in the first place. It would have been a lot more exciting to take the bus. Yeah, but then he'd have to sit next to <laughs> the stinky guy. Oh, man, you should have seen yourself being drug around. Rommel had you looking like an overstuffed Polish sausage. <laughs> but I am a Thuringer. <laughs> uh, you're nothing but a little boy, JC. You disappoint me all the way around. <clears throat> I never disappointed you in bed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> really? Mm. Don't walk away when I'm talking to you, Pays. Get your hands off me. Oh, you damn one. dirty ape. Scream for a lover boy. Go ahead, scream. I want to hear you scream. Scream! Please, JC. No, we have to watch this. Until you scream. Please. Now, scream! What a creep. Help. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. oh, 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 that's man. it, that's no. it. Piss no. Oh, boy, you're mine, Pays. You hear me, baby? Mine. Every mother of an inch of you. But Anybody I can't touched breathe. you, I'd kill him, Pace. That's how much I love you, baby. Ooh, I guess he really does love her. <laughs> kind of kisses like a dog. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. We're a team, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm punching your We're Judy. A team. <laughs> I'll prove it to you, baby. <laughs> Try some of my forbidden fruit. Come on. An apple a day. It's at Ooh. 3 o'clock. Good thing he's using that mask JC to protect his scalp. I can't get this spark little light, Hal. No He'll really go when he gets to the gas go tank. Okay. <laughs> hey, Rommel, you like those chili peppers that Lois gets? Yeah, yeah, but they burn my gut. Yeah, I like this movie. Well, I think that's what Rita and Lois are making for dinner tonight. <laughs> How come every time we go to the ranch, Luke, we gotta have chili peppers? Why not hamburgers? You know I love hamburgers. Less talk, more move. Hey, what's the director doing here? Mm -hmm. It's ready. Good. Now open the garage door. It's showtime. How much? 32 bucks. Well, this is a cheap movie. Hey, Luke, did you pick up those parts for the Harley yet? I'll get them now. You want a sandwich? Yeah, one with everything on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That refrigerator's been everywhere. And so has she. Mm. Hi. Ah, uh, well, yes, I am. I'm on a ladder. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Better than you. Where's your buddy? Kind of personal, oh, he isn't went it? For some parts. 
Oh? What's up? I just thought I'd stop by and see if you've changed your mind. Running errands for the old man, huh? You might call it that. I call it codependency. It's just that he doesn't mm. like being turned down. Yeah, well, uh, life's full of little rejections. You know, like my rejection from Simon yeah. & Schuster, my book. I know what you mean. I read your book, You Magnificent. <clears throat> Can you use some help over there? Oh, uh, yeah, you could button uh, it Yeah, out. hand me that box there. Now, quack like a duck. Oh. Here, let me get it. I had fun yesterday. You were great. Thanks. You know, JC's not bad. A little funny, but uh, not bad. He's no Gallagher or Promo. anything. You magnificent yeah. son of a, a, you know. Do you like me? Well, sure, I like everybody. I even like Gallagher for crying. And why do you uh, back off when I try to get close to you? There's a ladder in the way. About back off? You know, I can't get to you. There's a ladder in the right? way. Why not? Now, look, Basil, you got a man, right? Maybe I'd like a change. Maybe she's got a saggy diaper that leaks. Yeah, so uh, mm. what do you want me to do about it? I thought maybe you knew someone. You Look, Basil, you go on home and grow up. You know, that's the nice thing about a little girl. If they're lucky, they can grow up to be women. You bastard. I'm more of a woman than you'll ever know, you son of a bitch. Uh, that's a uh, magnificent son of a bitch. What's she up to? I don't know. I just yeah, don't get girls. Hey, the I asked for a bagel and a schmear. Oh, What's come on, this? Luke, don't give me no philosophy, huh? Okay. Hey, this is bike. I want you to take a look at. Hey, I gotta take the fridge to the airport. Uh, you need it's anything? It's right outside here. Hey, Nero, you got problems? Yeah, Rome's I was burning. I was out of town when misfortune struck me. I think I've blown the internal combustion off my head. Huh? What are you saying? That say? is a problem. Huh? Yes, sir. Indeed, it is. Uh, got to thinking about that word we discussed. If the offer's still open. Yeah, I uh, think we can uh, work it out for you. Sure. <laughs> Turns out they really wanted Nancy Sinatra for this role. Maybe my boots were made for walking right off the set. But then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. <laughs> I feel like I'm time tripping. That Buffy girl got to stand next to Jim Hutton look alike. <laughs> I remember it all. I remember the way he used to snap his jacket off on me. <laughs> and I remember that, too. Oh, oh that's worse. You go on home and grow up. That's the I nice remember, thing about a little girl. Remember the way Rommel insulted me? And the that's way JC made me cough up blood? Anybody they can't take you, those precious memories I'd away from me. <laughs> take that, Nancy Sinatra. <laughs> Hey, uh, Luke. What? All done in there? I was wondering if uh, you and Lois and the kids were going to stay at the ranch tonight after we ate dinner. Well, we were thinking about it. Why? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> what were you wondering? Oh, just wondering. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Mm. Mm. You and Rita want to stay out by yourselves tonight? Bingo! <laughs> That's a good idea. Kind of in my mind. <laughs> you uh, sure you don't mind? No problem. Thanks. Nope. Don't mind at all. You're just gonna sit out there and relax tonight, huh? This is kind of looking like 30 something. <laughs> yeah, yeah except for the fire. dirty pictures in the background. Fire. Yep. Uh -huh. Then. Yeah, I'm put my arm around it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, like I said, you and Rita should have some time to yourself. <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. Hey, you know you're right, Luke. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> need some more time. Yeah, time. <laughs> then what? Oh, you know. I'm going to give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Soft. You sure you want a hundred likes? That's a lovely dress she's wearing. <laughs> How do you plan to have a hundred kids? Huh? Huh? Well, it's like this. What? 
No, there's really a ton of change in this mattress. Mm. Are you planning to take care of them all? Huh? I'll look at it. Some rich old woman. Some Nice vaccination scar. Rich old widow woman, huh? Widow woman? Rod Stewart and Kim Carnes in Laryngitis Theater. <laughs> nah, Ricky, the ceiling needs painting. Ah. You still love me? This guy's really got a hair in the back. Yikes. Yep. He's kissing himself now. Why? I, I just imagined you at 90. And I don't think I could do this anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> good. Take a big drink out of life. Sounds like the start of a side hack film. Sounds like they're sharing the same larynx. Throw cool water on Batman. She's laying on a lampshade. Yeah. Hello, Hello, Hello. Hello. What happened? Rama. I know where he is. Algeria. I heard him tell his buddy he was going to the cabin where we had the party. Gooch, stay with her. You guys come with me. Isn't it Gooch? You know, Rama, I really love this place. Yeah, nice place. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. After we get married, I'm going to fix it up. Mm -hmm. What I really need is a woman's touch. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. what I, like I care, yeah. I want to stain the walls. Oh, yeah. Maybe give it a fresh, clean look. Oh, yeah, we're staying. And get blue draperies to match my new blue mm, cap. Yeah, you know what I can do in that? It'll cost a fortune. Careful. And throw rugs. Throw rugs all over the place. Yeah, I'd throw up on those throw Maybe rugs, a yeah. a couple of new lamps, huh? Yeah, like the ones you were laying on for. Yeah. Let's just take my wallet. <laughs> Fresh flowers every day. Lilies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the women are like that. You think I'm being silly? Wrong. Mm -hmm. Pattens here. Pattens here, honey. Wake up, you desert fucks, you. Time's up, lover boy. Get him. Joel, what happened? Where'd the side hacking go? Yeah, where'd it go? We liked it. Well, you guys gotta understand, it's really hard to get a new sport going. It's hard to get the recognition that other sports enjoy. Can you name a few? Uh, kickboxing from the Philippines, uh, tape measure racing. Uh, and, uh, computations and Australian rules football. Right, and what do all these sports have in common that side hacking does not? A rudimentary interest factor. A sense of fair play. A small measure of self-esteem. Yeah. Right, these are all really good answers, but Thank the thing you. I was looking for was terminology. It's impossible to have play-by-play -play or color commentary without it. So. Let's put our heads together and come up with some terminology that showcases some of the really exciting moves in our sport, side hacking. Cambot, roll that footage. It looks like the Wesley brothers out of John Harding starting things briskly with the Fuller Brush Man and a Rumpelstiltskins followed through with a teenage co-ed prison. Out of Wausau representing Wisconsin, Mitch and Pitch performing the now famous Yank Me Crank Me. That bright young team, the Allentown Poodles with their rendition of the Swirly. Oh no, could that have been the Gunk Out Crow? 
Thanks, Joel. I think that was more of a spinning love funnel from those fresh-faced kids of Kankakee Community College. Oh, my goodness, it's a linebacker slow burn and a hop skip and a gold lane with a fintuzzler and an itchy gorilla! An itchy gorilla! Uh-oh, here comes the big blue flamer, followed by T-Time Richard Scary, the full tilt bozo crazy, and just plain stupid. It's an exciting day indeed here at Japanese War Atrocity Park and Pavilion on the Park, but what's this? Is, is that the antiquated old puff of Baba O'Reilly attempting the teenage wasteland on the Haiti Heidi ho side of the track? From the darker side of the street come the cat snapper, Maynard and Eleanor, Casey's rolling pizza, and just imagine. Meet you on the dark side of the moon. It's the ghostly trio followed by No-Tell Motel, Esper Cream, and Death by Chocolate. Oh, oh, hold on to your epidermis. It's Deputy Dog and the hard-drinking soldiers of fortune attempting the off-copied leaky cheese. Shake me to wake me, crow. Looks like Batman and the costume critters of death are going crinkle-cut and somebody's got to pay. But, uh oh funny how how funny strange with the bad man until screaming, hey world, check me out. Hand me a hoover. It's Raspberry Kami, the fruitful, snootful, and hickory dickory die attempting a butterscotch push with a frunky, frunky, frunky. Ho, ho, ho. Is that Go-Go the gorilla with bloopers, blunders, and practical jokes with starchy cock of the walk and their fin toozler? There's Electro Woman and Dinah Girl in the George Barris custom show rod, bravely attempting the big guy with a Tommy Tune on the side. I've got to correct you on that, Crow. I think he's attempting the stinky guy with a Peter Allen. Uh-oh, that means he'll be disqualified and slap with a day in the life of Ivan Denisovich. That could be a problem for our Quentin Crisp, who's expected to deliver a fighting out of its brother or a god, your helmet smells good. Uh-oh, here comes Nutsy, the side-hacking clown, performing his famous tension envelope routine. Don't get too close, because remember, kids, he who smelt it dealt it. Let's give him a round of applause as we all pardon his blooper. Well, it's been a big day with plenty of sheer gut blowouts, Juicy Lucy's, and a woozle whose name was Peanut. This is Crow and Joel and Tom Servo in the pit. We'll be at the 19th quadrant attempting a grass grinder, and ground grass is a mulch, and mulch is good for your lawn. Mm -hmm. That ought to hold. Go oh, we are movie star! The excitement, the action. Oh, thank you. It's William before. Oh. It's got uh, a little. Uh, you got a little on your cheek there. Uh, that jelly donut kind of got away from him. <laughs> you got a feeling. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, no. At least my car's okay. Oh, no. They stole this radio. Oh, they stole his kneecaps. Is it safe? It's not safe. It's that way safe. Uh, yeah, they called my agent. They were trying to get out of his phone. It's kind of hurt. They stole his dimes. Oh, and they stole the camera dolly. It isn't safe. It isn't safe. They stole the shoulder of the road. Must find a dry cleaners. Got to. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, stop! Stop! I need a new girlfriend! Oh, well, thanks anyway. There's probably another car over the hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I don't want to be a grown up side hacker anymore. <laughs> Rommel, what the hell happened to it you? It was Patton. He read my book. Rommel. Oh, hate to bleed and run, Rommel. but... Rommel, come back! Huh? You magnificent... Oh, let him go. Oh. I can talk to you, Mr. Tree. Oh. Oh, Magic Lock, take me to the freeway. Hmm. Like coming to the highway. <laughs> I need another band aid for my broken heart. <laughs> we used to come here in club seals together. <laughs> I want to even, even these oil fields seem to remind me of it. Can't put my finger on it. But nothing lies. Only love, that's the feeling. 
You think I look like Robert Conroy, don't you? For those of you playing along at home, Rita is dead. Oh, oh, oh my tiny kid. It's no fun without a girl. Already, I forgot. <laughs> hey, I'm getting over it already. <laughs> Just because she was murdered. Oh. Brutally uh -oh. murdered. <laughs> Been crammed up in this lousy motel for two weeks. I gotta get out. I can't breathe, Cooch. Hey, look, I'm a mirror. If I can't talk. Any longer, the cops are bound to find me. Look for a place I can hide. The, mm -hmm. the mountains, man. Make a reservation at Grossinger's. Anywhere. Just get me out! Whoa. No one will find me here. I'll climb in a corner pocket. What are you planning to do? Eight ball, corner pocket. No, I'm in do? there. Kill him. I will kill him! We talked to the police and they're out looking for JC now. And some call him Pig. It's their job, Rommel. Let them handle it. It may be their job, but what have they done so far? Nothing. Oh, there's the roads. I was. You've got to snap out of it. You've been playing nine ball all day. Play air hockey. Why don't you come back to work so you can get your mind off of it? You ever read the Bible, Luke? No, but I there's saw the movie. passage about an eye for an eye. No, I'm not much for the classics. I've only read your book, you magnificent bastard. You ever read that one? Hmm. They're going to bust you wide open. Funny thing about that book. Like a pinata. It contradicts itself. One minute it tells you to turn the other cheek. Then it tells you to take an eye. Well, that's when you run out of cheeks. I guess it depends on which end you read. Well, if you start from the back, it's even more confusing. Problem. You didn't have your feet on the floor. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Like I said, it depends on which end you read. Yeah. I guess pool is the answer. I don't worry about my girlfriend's murder. Eight ball, corner pocket. Hey, you know, I'm playing my way through my grief. Every shot, I get better and better. Now, since this film isn't going anywhere, why don't we all play pool? Hmm? Huh? Say. I found a couple of boys. They're willing to ride with us. But there's one little problem. One of them's six years old and the other's eleven. They're short on funds. They don't care what they do. As long as they get paid for. I need some money. What for? Finish these monkey bars. I'm buying myself a little help. You thought about Kelly girls? Still gonna go after JC, huh? PDQ. Yeah, ASAP. But if you think I'm going to finance your war, you're nuts. Just me work. Hey, Luke, come on. I want to talk to you. Come on over here. The director wants to do another setup. Come on. Now, I'm not asking you See to get I mean? involved. I'll give you a note to my part of the shop so that if anything happens to me, you can still get your money back. I don't give a damn about your part of the shop. If anything happened to you, your part of the shop wouldn't mean a thing to me. Now, look, you can go fussing and hollering. How come they get louder as they get closer to the you camera? Me or I'll be looking someplace else. But I'm afraid you're going to have to look someplace else. All right, right I will then. <laughs> Taxi? Taxi? Oh, huh. I drove. Forgot. Okay, that's all. I go to the bank, I'll go to the dry cleaners, get some lunch, kill JC's gang. Salvage the film here. 
Why doesn't he just sell his car? It's the vengeance music. What can I do for you? I ran a little short this month. Give you a good deal on some tools. Don't need them. They're not for eating. Worth 50 bucks. I'll let you have them for 35. I just don't need them. He said you're not hey. supposed to eat them. 25. And I'll throw in my spare tire. Why didn't you say tires? We love tires. Now I'll give you $5 if you have a hard boiled egg in your purse. Okay. You got a 10? Yeah, I got a 10. You got a pretty nice tan hot. yourself, brother of mine. Kind of the trunk a while. For what you're paying, I wouldn't sweat it. A little warm. All I've got is two tans. Give me those. Thanks. Not. Not. Now, Jake, that's all the man's got. And I gave him my word. For two hundred dollars, I wouldn't even move. I couldn't. <laughs> now, nah, Jake. I man didn't mean it. I don't even know what he Different. said. Hey, smart Why, thank mom. Did you. you ever see Big Jake break a man's back? No, but once I saw a bear drinking a soda. Oh, oh. I don't believe it. You hit me. Yep, yep. sure mm -hmm. did. Did you see what he did? Yeah, yeah I hit you. Yeah. I saw the I whole thing, what happened. Yep, I hit you. You hit Big Jake. Yeah, yeah I hit, I hit him. You. If you're Big Jake, I he hit you. Break your back. Oh. oh, you crushed my sternum. You made me sit in a hard thing. It's hot and it hurts and stuff. Oh. When do we start? Is this your way of haggling? <laughs> Two, three days at the most. <coughs> Clark, I said I'd give you $200. What is she? Are you with oh. me or not? Edith Mass. Always work these brushes into a fine point. You could kill a man with them. Helps bring out the detail of my work. He's going to hire a now painter? Listen. Will that bring Rita back? Paint a picture of her. It'll last longer. <laughs> That's the closest you're ever going to get to her again. Rita? Oh, yeah, dead girlfriend, right, right. She's gone. Oh, I, oh, I, I pay the devil to replace another her. time. Another place. Dead, bloated, worm food, you know. You don't have to worry about our hangups here anymore. Okay, like okay, note to myself. To don't talk to an artist. All they got time to know and understand is themselves. Uh, so is that a yes? Well, she got you don't want to hear, do you? People find their own bag. Get in it. Is my bag under here? Oh. Sad. Whoa. Yep. Hey, how yeah. did the laughing audition go? You're saying he's coming after me by himself? Yeah. And the word is out. He's buying himself some help. He doesn't think the law is doing its job. Who? Who's he buying? Nero, two, three others. A puppet, a pauper, a pawn, and a king. Nero. Each time he finds himself flat on his face. Oh, you know the rest. That Rommel. He just don't learn too easy, does he? I gave him the light, man. And he just kept doing time. I tried time. to show him the way. I was like a brother to him. Not a good brother. A gooch. Gooch, tell me. It's gooch. Did I love Rommel? Hmm? Did I love him? My own flesh I don't love better! Mm. He gets this way if he doesn't kill every day. I'm not good enough for it. How many times oh, I you asked you? Yeah, you got a little up there. He says no. Oh, mama. Could be he's trying to bring me out in the open. We'll see what kind of game he's playing. Oh, Othello? Hungry, hungry hippo, shoot some ladders. Candyland, maybe. Uh, Mealborn, Uno, Monopoly, Risk, Trivial Pursuit. No. Oh, you're so tense. Wow. We get rid of you. Then there's no witnesses. JC, we've had enough trouble. Please, let's just get out of here. You, you dare think I was me? looking for trouble? He tries to put the make on you, so I paid him back. How'd I know she was going to die? Ah, uh, because you killed her. Ain't that her. right, honey? Tell me! Ain't it right? Can you repeat the question, please, Peter? Damn you all to hell! 
Uh, yeah, everything's better uh, John, now. Herd is gone. I want you to get hold of the other boys. Tell them to meet me here, to bring guns, whatever they can get their hands on. We're loose fitting clothes, dress to move. To Have a two-minute song prepared. Cooch. Cooch, come here. That's Cooch, sir. Sit down. Take your shoes off. Sit a spell. I trust you, my friend. I trust you. We've had a lot of runs together. Yeah, remember that dinner in Tijuana? Been Boy, I made a run for the border that night, my little compadre. You always <laughs> stick by me. Now I need you, Cooch. I want him. You need me, yeah. but you want him? Yeah, I'll get him. No. You gotta get in. And you bring Rommel to me. Yeah, I will. I, I will, will do it. But it's gotta look right. I will. Let I him will. know where I'm hiding. I will. I will do it. Make him think you were not. I, I am okay. I will. But baby, I will. it's got to look right. You know I'd do anything for you, JC. I will. Would you kill a guy? Anything. I know. I know. I'll do it. And so they drove to the power station. There was nothing left of the world after the robot holocaust. I know a wiener man. He owns a hot dog stand. He gives me everything. We meant a keychain failed. What would you say he was? <laughs> Everybody like where I'm going after him. PCH. Look at the moon. Oh, be dark out. Look how dark it See, is tonight. it's really something. Wow, and the crickets? Dark night. Yeah. yeah. Some crickets. If it was yeah. dark, you could. They don't even Hey, have I them. said left at the Dairy Queen. Guess it was too dark. They don't even have their lights on. It's so dark out, they don't need their lights, I guess. They're breaking the law. Yeah. See, once I kill a guy, then this will become a side hack track. Yeah. What do you think? That's nice. Mm. Hey, Coach, what's the deal? We better wait here till morning. Yeah, it's too dark now. Can't see a thing. That's why I'm squinting. Why not tonight? I'm too tired. You know, J.C. likes his booze. Loves to have his You fun. hit him in the morning, he won't know what happens. Oh, well, that means he'll be really drunk right now, right? What do you say? <sighs> what can I say? How about, I'm sorry? Well, I still think we should go under the cloak of darkness, but we'll do it your way. It's so dark out tonight, I mean. Yeah, I'm glad it's dark. I can't tell trust my hat looks like Jiffy Pop. I don't trust anyone. Hey, his hat looks like Jiffy Pop, too. But I'll be honest. Buttered and unbuttered. <laughs> Please, Luke, don't do it. Honey, uh, boss, go back on the house. Well, let's call the police from here. Honey, I owe Rommel more than a call to the police. What? What? Mm -hmm. What about me and the kids? Oh, the huh? kids can come, too. Bring their jammies. Please, Put them on the top of the car. Too dangerous. Don't go. Billy, don't be a hero. Look, he's sporting a Woody. Yeah, classic style. Like well, really nice. bye, honey. Don't wait up. I'll be dead. <laughs> right if you get work. Hey, turn your lights on. It's dark out, remember? It's dark. Idiot. This old boy got busted, see? And he gets tossed in the sink, see? Now, the first he's night he's there, there, his cellmate walks over know. to the bars, and he yells I'm out, suspicious. Number nine! Oh, not this No, one. no, yeah, we know. And, uh, There's a chance some people can't tell a joke, yeah. Huh? Load him. And the whole place breaks up again, see? So this new boy turns to his cellmate and he no. says, Hey, man, what is with this number bit? So the old con tells him. He says, that's the way we tell jokes around uh -oh. here. Now, uh -oh. everybody here knows every joke, so we just give him a number. Yeah, yeah, and we when know, we, we feel know. like telling the joke, we just yell out the numbers. Yeah, I heard now, Tip Adata used to do a number time, one that was a... This new killer. boy decides he's going to tell himself a joke. Go on. So he walks up to the bar and he yells out, Number eight! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not it. Well, that's oh. not the punchline? There's not a oh. peep out of the whole cell block. There's more. I mean, uh, don't nobody lie. <laughs> well, he turns to the old con and funny. he says, Let's just kill this guy hey, for press. How come nobody lied? <laughs> Maybe because it wasn't funny. Oh, how so, I loathe so him. So the old con looks know what you at mean. him and he just says, Just keep listening. And he says, <laughs> uh, Try to make the most of it. And he says, <laughs> He's, he not, says, he's not half bad. <laughs> nice big <laughs> one. Keep him talking. I'll that hit him over the head of the boy. rock. Some people can tell a joke in some case. And <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Hey, say, did you ever hear the one about the fag and the hey, dog? What? 
Huh? Dave Dog. Yeah. Man, you put me on, ain't you? No, no, this guy comes to the bar, the bar with his dog, see? Is that the one where the dog pins the bartender to the floor and he says, Bowsy, Wowsy? No, he yeah, says, who shot my paw? Yeah, I did. That was number five. <laughs> Did anyone ever hear about the, the, the stupid hillbilly that got uh, killed in the desert by a bunch of bad guys? The one with the big stick, right? Yeah. If Nero here rides with me, I'm gonna hold this pole out like this. I prefer observation here. I say the best way is hand to hand. Hit him hard and Hand to mouth. If you was built like me, you wouldn't say that. I feel like your idea about that machine gun. Remember what Rommel said, no gun. Yeah, it wasn't a good policy for the German army. What's the matter, Coot? Afraid to die? Forget the guns. Little. Who needs them? Me. That's who. Suppose that JC sitting down there with like a Jimmy little Dean? army. A this little plastic army no with army. army? Those plastic army men? There's no way for him to move. No way. Yes, yes way. way. Does and the law gets him. Maybe you got a better way, huh? Well, yes, yeah. I do. I have a, happen to have a lot of ideas. I've catered That's many of these events before, and uh, you'd be surprised at the provocative and useful ideas you hey, can come Rommel up with. Hey, Rommel boy! Yes, rock stupid hillbilly boy? What if this J.C. sitting down there with a little army? Go, Joe. Oh, promise no more jokes, and hey, I'll Gooch. tell you what you want to know. How many boys does he have? It's Gooch. The same. Gooch. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about, huh? What about the no, Middle East crisis? That's got to bother you a little bit. Yeah. I figure JC's uh, going to be sitting down there waiting for us. I think he knows when we're coming, too. What we got to do is sneak in and grab him. Yeah. Once I got JC, there's no reason for his boys to fight us. Unless they want him back. Jake and me will go down first. You. What are you going to do when you get your hands on him? Uh -huh. Still thinking about it. What if you don't? Yeah, now, sir. Now, suppose he grabs you first. Then you lead. Well, then you boys are going to earn your money. <sighs> Crap out. You and Cooch take the side. Crapper? Out. Hey, Ron. I had this idea about using this pole as a battering ram. Good I one. Nero to ride. We were thinking of using it okay. as a suppository on you. You come in from the back side. Cause as much confusion as you can. So what else like is new? Guys, Threw okay. that stupid joke here. Is that out of hold? Cooch, you play it by ear. Stay in between. Then us. betray now, us. Just, just, just wait a minute. Ron, oh boy. What the hell are we gonna do if they got guns? Die, I guess. Yeah, Get sure. your butt out of there. That's a good idea. Yeah, hey, that's oh, a good we idea. Heck, we show know pipe thinner. That's why I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys, how about the slipping for a little odd man? What's that? Right. Somebody wanna forget oh, your odd man. How about a little nice? Man. 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 And so the Apostle Peter awoke with the sun, and verily he heard a voice. A cock will cry three times before you betray Rommel. Man, I just remembered it's like 12 noon and they still make a sleep around here. This is a really dumb camp. Right foot, left foot, biggest damn thing in the case. Mm. Christians, mm. Greeks, fire, fiddling, Rome. We're rocks and we're smarter than this cast. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh, we better go. We're really tired of this film. Come on, you guys. Boy, that Rommel guy is really cool. I wish we could be more like him. Yeah, well, we can never be him. All we can do is try to emulate him and tell others some good news about Rommel. I read his book, you know, he is a magnificent bastard. Hmm. And in it, they had the patterns on how to make these super cool hats. Check them out, you guys. Gimme, gimme, gimme. They're really cool. Yeah. Ah, and there's a lot of neat things yet. Yeah. Love is good. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of neat things you can do as Rommel, like obviously go side hacking, you know. Or you can take your refrigerator around the world. Right, that's a good idea. Or you can entertain guests at your summer home. Yeah, and uh, then there's running through the woods and uh, rolling down hills with your best girl, Rita. Oh, Rita! Oh, man. Come on, Crow, into every life a little rain must fall. Let's try to concentrate on some of the more positive things here about Rommel. Oh, don't forget the fun he had playing with his mechanic pal, playing pool, and uh, forget about his, what happened to his girl, Rita! Oh, <laughs>
Uh, you gotta take it easy. Come on, there's still a lot of really neat stuff that Rommel did. Like, remember that time he got really crazy? Yeah. And he went into town to raise money to get those killers, uh -huh. crazed killers, to go and avenge the death of his girlfriend, uh -oh. Rhea. <laughs> Come on, Joel, snap out of here. Joel, quick, think of something to cheer him up. Think of a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, hey, Joe. Number eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been too tense, man. Yeah, that's a good one. That's funny. All right. Ah, uh, something coming in on the view screen. <laughs> no, no, that's not a joke. Actually. No, no, really. There's a ship coming into range. Oh, no, you just can't tell him the way Crow can. It's really no, something. he's right, Joel. There's a ship coming into range. <laughs> he did it again. That just yeah. kills me. It's so funny. Wait a minute. There is a ship out there, and it's got a side hack on it. Hey, who are you? Oh, come on, Rommel, you know who I am. I'm JC from the Planet Five the hard way. Now look, baby, our senses have indicated that you've been watching the side hack movie, hey, which is cool, man. You know, we were even gonna bring you cats back down to Earth, but then you had to go and be like Rommel. Oh, no, we don't wanna be like we Rommel. We don't wanna be like Rommel. Oh, oh, why are you wearing those stupid hats, baby? I don't know, what do you have against Rommel anyway? I tried to show him the way I tried to show him the light. I was like a brother to him. Now, Cooch, Cooch, tell me, did I love Rommel? Did I, huh? That's Cooch! Right, right, Cooch, look. Man, I loved him. My own flesh I don't love better. But I wasn't good enough for him. How many times I asked him to ride with me? He just said no. I want you to do something for me, Cooch. I want you to do something. I want you to get Rommel for me. Get him. Get him, man, get him. I will. All right, good. I will get him. Cool, baby. I will get him. Just get him. I will get, you get him. Go get Rama. Go get Rama. I will. I will get him. I wonder what I they wanted. Him. Yeah. Man, I hate to say it, but for being marooned on a satellite, it's sure getting busy around here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I you know that Rommel guy has a lot in his mind. We're just not the types to be carrying around that kind of psychological pain and emotional baggage. Yeah. Right? yeah. You're right. Let's go watch the rest of the movie. Yeah. There's more movie? Oh. Ah! I knew you'd come number five. Oh, that was a number eight, maybe. That was really funny. <laughs> we got him. You know that old rock quarry? That's where I was going to hide? The one with the tin shack? You tell Rommel that's where I'm hiding. You bring him there in the morning. The rest of us will be waiting. What for? I had a hard time getting out of there. Cooch. Coochie, coochie, cooch. You're my back. Uh, he's insane. I Not everything he says head. has to make sense, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Up yours. And we'll be right back after this message. <laughs> we got him, honey. Yee. I got him. Great. Great. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Um, uh, you kiss like a duck. Uh, honey, your, your mere touch makes me physically ill. Don't talk with your mouth full. I feel my lunch is coming up. I've got to get away from you. All of a sudden, you got to get away, huh? Where do you think you're going to go? I met a nice guy on, called Ike me. Turner. You don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, you know. You were dying for me to take you out of that one horse town. He's from Chicago. You know, sometimes I think you're crazy. What would you do without me? I guess she'd heal. I don't know, but at least I wouldn't have to be doing anything I didn't feel. Uh-oh. Oh, that hurt. That was a romantic don't. Maybe you better explain more about those feelings. And uh, be specific. Use specific examples. In fact, you seem to like the whole scene. Are you trying to tell me we were playing some kind of game in bed? Yeah, Parcheesi, and I lost a lot of my game pieces. Now I want out. 
I don't know who I despise more, you or myself. Or the devil or, or Chuck Woolery. Is that a bad time? Oh, jeez. Suppose you like it when Rob tore you apart, huh? Huh? Or maybe it was the other way around. Huh? You don't have a healthy Get relationship. Get out. Get out. Oh. Or was it the other way around? Um, hmm. Could you let go of my windpipe? I'm supposed to leave. Group Team 37. I can't believe it, Wally Carbo. That's an illegal hold. That's an automatic three-day suspension. No, I'm really glad it's just a movie. They're just actors. The money's in the... <laughs> Cops is filmed on location. Do things you can't feel. What'd you say that? JC is wanted by the FBI. What'd he should be considered that? armed and stupid. <laughs> Dad, you that? tell me about the rabbits, George. I don't like it when you say things. Like I think they're communicating a lot better now. You didn't mean it, did you? Nah. I know you're sorry, baby. I'm not mad. I'm just drawn that way. Come on, baby. Talk to me. Talk now that you're me, dead, baby. I can tell you about a thousand wonderful Talk hours we went. Say hello to the folks, Bobby. Hello, folks. I will kill you. Oh, oh I guess I did. Slow, slow, plot, plot. Slow, 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 slow plot. Hey, nice sweater. Slow, slow, plot. Huh, he really is bad. Oh, he's biting his nails, that's really disgusting. You're no better than JC if you go through with this. Luke, I'm gonna tell you something. It's easy for you to come out here preaching to me about what I should or shouldn't do. And what you There's shouldn't wear. It wasn't Lois. Uh, Tony Tennille wants her hat back. But maybe you're right, I don't know. But give yourself some time and think it out. McLeod! There's only one thing I can think about. Uh, my next line? JC. Hey, Rommel. You magnificent son of a... Cooch is back. And there's gonna be trouble. Hey, la, li, la. Is it oh, still boy. dark? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Cooch. We gotta go hide. And I'm a little rabbit. And I'm gonna cover myself up and leave my little butt hanging out. Yeah. Well, let's go kill him. Good morning, dummy. Wake up and die. Huh? Check. Nobody oh, called. Oh, hi. Huh? You trust him? What? What? What did I do? What? what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> what do you want? Guys. What's the bet? <laughs> What's the deal? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I go to the bush. You guys make a big deal out of it. Yeah, I went to the bush <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> boy, we've been sitting here for over an hour waiting for you. <laughs> you moonlighting on us, boy? Read the magazine. <laughs> Jeez, you know. I say he's a spy. I think he's a sailor. Is that true, boy? Huh? You setting us up? Come on, man. It's a bad joke. <laughs> yeah, you know, number 12. <laughs> hey, what are you guys trying to do? Hmm. Wear this you hat. Don't. Here, I'll find out. This ought to jog his memory. Ah, you got something to say? Ah, pull me down, you son of a bitch! Ah, uh, no, that's the wrong answer, but thanks for playing. Easy, Cooch. Ah. Let's go! Here, crap out! Catch! You guys are great! Oh. True, boy, true. Don't you do that! Bravo. You magnificent oh, no, son of a... Oh, ah. Wait, you guys! Tell me where he is. Nothing to tell. I went to the brush. Now look, ah! I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where is he? I don't know where he is. There's nothing to tell, I swear. I got no house to go. I got no house. I'm a lot smarter now, thanks. Rock quarry. Rock quarry. He told me to bring you there in the morning. You're a little on your nose. What's he gonna do after we get there? Uh, have a late know. breakfast. All he told me was to bring you there. That's all. Did he uh, say anything about what time? 
I like to be prompt. Prop up, time up. And don't be afraid to use a granny knot. I'm so glad you come back, old buddy. Never met a spy before. Uh, just tie him up, make it snappy. Look, I, I'd like you to do me a favor. We really are good friends, aren't Why? we? Uh, stand a little closer. I mean, I finally got through to you. Yep, you finally got through. Yeah. Well, it's about time. Let's get the hell out of here. Now I know where he's at. I'm not letting him get away. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but don't you start nothing. I'll be back in an hour or so. Okay, I won't start nothing. I promise. We'll meet you at the rock quarry, okay? Okay. Yeah. Man, then things got really weird. Acid Canyon. Now, this is how you do a monkey, and uh, you crouch a little lower to do an orangutan. Just as I suspect. This is where they shot the Love Shack video. Oh. Pitiful. Little on the. I got a bike that's as big as a whale. <laughs> Get him with a ten-foot pole. That'll work really well. Yeah. Mmm, moose track, two, three-day-old. You think you've got problems? I'm not even supposed to be in this film. Gary Collins, today at four on Our Magazine. Hey, it's Cheech Marin. Huh. Poison still fresh. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> it's the cap snaffler. It really, really works. Oh, don't grab his gun. No guns. Uh uh. No, no bongos. Uh, is it hot out here or is it just me? No sweaters. Not allowed. I'll just walk under the cover of this air here. Hmm. I set my own trap. Then I go after him. Out a little fire, Scarecrow. Shot with a tomato gun. Ooh. No drumming. Not, Not allowed. allowed. Hey, they're playing an Indigata de Vida. Mm, 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 How annoying. Jay-Z! Jay-Z! Me! Jay-Z! Soil and green is made from people! Oh, no, Jay-Z! Oh! Yeah, I'm quick on the draw. Nice, huh? Yikes. I never did think this thing would work. Ouch. Come on now, let's go. Let's move it. Yeah. Yeah. Get me a gun. Hey, they're riding number 15. That reminds me of a joke. Number 16. <laughs> <laughs> kind of wish that was the director there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, I just changed my policy. Everybody use guns. Number 16. <laughs> if the bullets don't kill him, I, the music will. Yeah. yeah. More dead people. Funny, huh? Yeah. Neat. Got him again. Amazing. Came out of his tuck too early. No. Too bad about having to die like that. Yeah, our contractual obligation in this movie is over. No guns. What the heck was I thinking? Uh, yeah, I'll just hide behind these blades of grass here. Yeah, yeah, 
Uh, that's gonna help. Okay, okay, I've got to remember that I'm crazy. Note to myself, load guns before killing spree. Yeah. That's right, pretend you're hurt. Oh. Honey lips. What are we gonna do now, lover? Oh, what's that supposed to mean? You coming on to me? It's the end of the line! Hmm. I never met a general before! Why don't you come on over? We can get acquainted! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not talking! And that hurts me! We never talk anymore! You're so distant! Where's the love? Got nothing to say! I'm sorry! Wait, what am I apologizing for? Oh. This isn't gonna take a licking and keep on ticking. Uh -huh. Only you understand me. <sighs> You said that. I'm coming out! I'm coming out and I don't have any jewelry or accessories. I am Kirok. Just you and me! And a dog named Boo! Join me and all this can be yours. So, it's been a while. Hmm. Good to see you again and all. Hey, what's been going on ever since uh, you and I said, oh! <laughs> oh, why didn't I get out of his way? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Group Team 37, I should have known. <laughs> oh. There he goes. Oh, there's a foreign object in that ring. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, 12,000 miles away, Akron's best speed toward the hills of Southern California. Oh, oh, Andy, fast. Hmm. Ow, that's my sore arm. Ow, 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 that's no fair. Ow, my ow. Whoa. Oh, it hurts. Hi, Kiba. Hi, Kiba. Now, that'll teach you to fall under a conveniently placed cable. Uh, so you think I need bridge work, huh? Oh, okay. Uh. Now I love you. Are you gonna sit down and work this thing out or what? Boop! Boom! With a karate chop to the head, the neck, the body. A lot of grunting going on. Oh, I always did love you. Oh. And he missed. They're in a rut. Ah. Ah. I'm I'm sorry. What'd you say? Yeah. Come, come over to this other rut. That's better, isn't it? Oh, you took my thumb, Charlie. You took my thumb, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Meanwhile, on the plains of Nebraska, the car speeds forward. Oh, oh. that had to sting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one really hurt. Oh, you ow. crushed it. You crushed ow. it. It hurts and stuff. Oh. Throw him to the ground, Centurion. You're lucky my chick's not here, you know that? Well, okay, you bum. But if you do it again, you get more of the same. You didn't figure this into the formula. Oh! Okay, Paul! Oh, bro. What? Oh, I hope this it? doesn't happen when you die. That would this really be absurd. It's all supposed to be a dream here. What is that um, awesome? So, I guess there's not going to be any more side hacking, huh? I don't think so. Side hacking on a coffin, maybe. Uh, a side coffin. coffin. 
side coffin. It's possible. Oh, that's, that's Didn't clutter. the Munster's car used to have a side coffin? On well, the uh, Grandpa drove a coffin. Yeah. That was the dragster one, and then there was the big town car yeah. one. Yeah. Are you trying to change the subject? No. No. Arms are crossed. Holy love. I can't do it. That's the film. This film was also released as Million Dollar Legs. I thought so. Is that Ginger Rogers there or something? Most of her scenes were cut. Yeah. That's the film. Where's those Tessier sisters again? Oh, we better get out of here. Yeah. Man, our job is the done. The Tessier Goyles. <laughs> get in. Film. Yeah. Talk about nihilism. That's the second film in a row that had the hero die in the end. Boy, we're never gonna snap out of this existential dilemma. Oh, I was afraid this would happen, so I brought this thing along. But Joel, why was the movie so bad? Yeah, it was cool in the beginning with the side hacking, then it went right down the drain and they had to pad out the rest of the film with all that killing. Oh no, Crow. It wasn't killing that padded out the film. No? Only love pads the film. When stories were young and dreams were not done And sorrow was so far away A storybook scene with songs to be sung and life, life was just for today. Oh, sure. But nothing lasts forever. Only love adds the film of all. Please. The plans that you made were two horses walk. Our flowers still grow in the wind. Crow. You give or you take a day in the sun. But even the sun must ascend. Everybody now, come on. But nothing lasts forever. Only love adds the film. Of all the dreams you treasure, only love adds the film. Oh, Jeff's mad. Scientists are calling, and now we better get going. Um... <laughs> Listen to them up there, <laughs> singing and dancing their dear little hearts out. Oh, those poor, I'm gonna bring them down. Oh, why don't we invite the entire King family in here? <laughs> oh, and the cow shows them up with people. Oh, never mind. Don't you have some letters to read, Pink Boy? Yeah, of course, I got them right here. Um, let's see, Cambo, put this one up on the screen. Oh, it's just print, but they should see it anyway. For Joel, Tom, Servo, and Crow. Hey. I I'm 13 years old, and my family loves your show a lot. Every time we watch it, we can't stop laughing. Aww. Uh, the best I like is the nice tag or nice dive and the bot sitcom. Well, you might need a calculator, he says. You remember that when you said <laughs> oh, yeah. the twins? No, and when Tom Servo Crow, sometimes Gypsy play when they have to tell something good and play bad about the movie for Graham chips. Oh, he thought they're, Graham chips? he thinks they're no, called Graham yet, chips. They're oh, no, no, Graham no, chips. No, it, not but yet. Anyway, uh, anyway, that's from With Laughs from Chris Tackett. Maybe we could do a good thing and a bad thing about that letter. You got a good oh, thing to say? Oh, the good thing is, well, Oh, I'm, I'm just so full of love right now, I can't say a bad thing. What about Chris, you? Got I a bad thing you. to say about that letter? Ah, uh, 
The printing's nice. Okay. Yeah. That's a bad thing? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. cool. You've seen Joel right. Anyway, let's put that, Cambo, let's put the address up on the screen and Tom Servo do the mighty voiceover, please. Okay. Send your letters to the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Information Club. That's Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota. Zip is 55343, and we love you. Okay, and the next one, Cam, I'll put this one up on Still Store. Oh, this nice. one says, Dear Go, which is Joe, Serbo, and Crow. Hey. I really like SF, and I don't mean San Francisco. Huh? <laughs> A little joke. And there. I like Tom Serbo best. It's Tom Servo, by the way. Thank you very much. Because he's cute. Aww. I like Crow because he always makes me laugh. Aww. I would really like for another robot to be on the show, but not a boy or girl. I would like her to look like, P.S. I drew a picture on the back, but I want one girl for Crow. Here yeah, she is. Me and too. One, one for you, Joe. Uh, but it's kind of just Gypsy, a redesign of Gypsy. We've already got a girl here, you silly. We anyway, love Gypsy. I guess that ought to do it. What do you think, sirs? I think I liked it. Well, until next time, Joel Hackerson. Go ahead, Frank, push the button. I will. Well, push it. I will push the button. Push the button, Frank. I will push the button. Just push the button. I will. Push. I will. Make one of these. I will push the button. And do this. I will push the button. Thank you.